Ah, so guys, on this one, I'm showing you an automated search, job search, uh, anything workflow. And I must acknowledge the guy from whom I saw it. He inspired me to build this John O'Catliff. Uh, shout out to John O'Catliff. And I learned so much from you. I just wanted to acknowledge you in this one. Uh, yeah, this, this is the video I watched and I tried to replicate it. But we ran into a bit of problems the, because it was using the RSS feed. And uh, I then later found out that, um, okay, let me tell you how this workflow, how it works. So you get how it works. Because I, he used RSS feed in this video, which works, but I ran into problems when my RSS feed uh, expired, that's one. Two, I discovered, I'm, I think I will still go back to do that RSS feed for those who want it customized for them. So that because LinkedIn and Indeed have more, uh, more um, job postings than the platform I later used. I went ahead to build this same tool using Zuna, I think. That's the name. Now, th this is a job posting platform. This is their front end. This is the dev side. And uh, they've got a ton of jobs. If you search for any job, you'll see. It's not like all these remote jobs. Let me see, social worker. you see a ton of jobs pop up. So I got their API and I built that solution around it, that automation. You see a lot of jobs here, right? Okay, good. So I... Let me show you how this works. So uh, this is a trigger, of course, set it to run uh, daily, 7 a.m., wherever you are. And then the job title, uh, these are the jobs I am going to search for on that platform. So I have to define those jobs. So we'll, we'll run the tool now and see what happens. This workflow picks jobs from the platform. Mm -hmm. And then, uh, this is the HTTP. It picks the jobs from the platform. And then I, it comes here. It will summarize the job and give it a matching score to see whether the job matches with your resume. We have uploaded a sample resume here. Jane Doe, that's her name. Just to see if it matches. And then uh, it will write a cover letter for you. Save it to Google Sheet. This is the Google Sheet. Uh, let me show you job search. To write it and drop it here. And after dropping it there, it will send it to your mailbox as a draft. Okay? So let me test run it and see. Uh, you see how that works. So here it is. It's working. You can see it's summarizing. It has picked the jobs split them into uh, different job titles and then it summarized the jobs it's scoring it to see whether it's it matches uh, your cv or your resume or not and then now it's writing the cover letter it's going to drop it off here now well let's go to that uh, excel uh, google sheets and see what happens when it's done or that it will drop there you go <laughs> so this is for it auditor Senior IT Auditor. It's got five uh, positions available. I remember I put IT Auditor as part of my search. So this is the... Um, here you have the cover letter. And I think it's well done. Let me just read it. Dear hiring manager, I'm writing to express my interest in Senior IT Auditor position. So what happens after drafting this, it will drop it in your mailbox. Now let's check our draft folder in the mailbox there you have it it auditor it auditor it auditor everywhere and about five of them yeah so this is i told you to format it as an html and i think it did a good job here and uh, so uh, there you have it so you will just uh, pick this and put the uh the receiver's email if you are satisfied you let it go. If you are not, you make a few adjustments and then you shoot it. You see? <laughs> or if you don't want to shoot it, if you are supposed to submit it as a cover letter, 
you whatever it is they want you to do the cover letter the point is it has drafted it for you. it's up to you to then format it as they would like you to format it so that is basically it we have a shadow trigger here it's a very simple excuse me it's a very simple workflow you define the jobs you want if i wanted to uh what do i want let me see um what should i put here now uh, uh sysadmin okay systems administrator yeah okay so that's a job i can change this to case worker um I can change this to foreman, construction site foreman. Oh uh, yeah, but, but we can leave this as a trucker. We can change it. So we can write. So I'm defining the kinds of jobs I want to search for. So yours might be nursing. You might be a doctor. You are searching for a job. So I don't know what you'll be searching for. That will be your choice to make. And then this is the node for uh, the Azuna uh search platform this is a bit of uh it's an http no node i got chat gpt to write all this for me now let me quickly show you something here from chat gpt this is an n8n chat gpt you can search for it under the chat gpt site this is the tool i'm using to create um all these uh workflows look at look at my process with this guy <laughs> I started, I started by asking it whether it's possible to automate it and it said yes. Okay, so give me ideas. It gave me a few ideas. They didn't work. I said, okay, uh, indeed and blah, blah, blah. Are they working? They said, he said, indeed has one uh, RSS feed that works in Toronto, but at the, uh, LinkedIn doesn't. So that's how come we started searching for Azuna and then we came up with Azuna. So my point in all of this is it won't work the first time, but you don't give up. What do you want to automate? Go to chat GPT, let it guide you. Okay. So uh, this one just splits it into the various job uh, openings. There you have it. This is the JSON format. So these are the summaries of jobs. Senior IT Auditor in Miami. Uh, Senior IT Auditor uh, as Learner Learner. And then... Uh, you know, like this is another one. IT security editor. Uh, this is a remote job. Travel up to 30%. So, um, chat GPT then summarizes it for me and then breaks it down into the title and the body. This is Fontainebleau in Miami-Dade County. So, and then we move on to, uh, if this is where it's matching. A, on a scale of 1 to 5, it gives a score. This one is 2. This one is two. This one is zero. It doesn't even match at all. The thing I didn't remember to do is to put in the uh, prompt that if it is uh, less than a, a score of three, it should not bother with the cover letter. I think I'm going to do that when I'm done with this recording. Anything less than uh, uh, three, it shouldn't bother. Then it's, it begins to draft the cover letter. It has done like five cover letters here. And then it updates the Excel sheet. Look at all the mappings. And then it goes ahead to shoot the mail to your box. So you have two repositories, your mailbox, your draft folder, and your Google Excel sheet. Let me know what you think in the comments. If you like this, if you want this temp, uh, this uh, any temp template, it's something I can easily send to you. Just let me know in the comment section. Especially for those who are in the job market, this will be very helpful to you. You know how tough it is uh, <laughs> searching through jobs. This tool will just uh, pick out the listings for that day and then prepare the cover letter for you. And, uh, you know, it makes life easy for you, doesn't it? Anyway, you want to work with us, go to our website, Dominic's AI, and... Uh, book an appointment with us so thank you very much guys have a great day and don't forget to subscribe to like and to share uh, this 
what you sent. Thank you very much. Have a wonderful day.